Hey everyone, Brandon here. If you're thinking about moving to Rockland, California, then you need to watch this video first. I'm going to list the pros and cons of living in this area so that you can make the best decision for yourself. All right, first pro, family friendly. Rockland was recently voted by Money Magazine as one of the top 50 places to live in the United States. Rockland was also rated seventh best city to live in all of California by chamberofcommerce.com. They wouldn't have ranked that high if it wasn't the perfect place to raise a family. Now I live in Rockland and I raised four boys here. I couldn't imagine living anywhere else. All right, second pro, top rated schools. Rockland schools are rated among the best schools in Northern California with many nines and tens on greatschools.org. With a population of about 70,000 in Rockland, there are 12 elementary schools, two middle schools, and two high schools. There is also a charter school by the name of Western Sierra Collegiate Academy. My older two boys do go to an elementary school in the Rockland School District. That elementary school is rated an eight out of 10 on greatschools.org. Now, that being said, my experience with this school has been very, very good. One of our boys has special needs, has been having a little bit of trouble, and so the staff at this school has gone out of their way to make learning as easy as possible for my son. Now, another thing I love about Rockland's elementary schools is many of the schools have parks connected to the school, which allows us to kind of take our kids to the park after school for more social time and building a community. Another pro in Rockland, variety of parks and trails. Rockland has 37 parks and more being built every single year. Many parks have the traditional baseball fields and play structures, but some have splash pads, disc, disc golf courses, hockey rinks, there's, there's so much variety. My favorite park is Johnson Springview Park, which features a dog park, large covered picnic area, disc golf course, skate park, and a, a hockey rink. Now, in addition to Rockland's amazing parks, there are also over 200 acres of walking trails and nature area. You can see my reviews of local Rockland parks in the link below. Another pro of living in Rockland is safety. So Rockland's one of the safest areas of Northern California to live. It's considered safer than 35% of the United States and is rated an A score by niche.com. One of the many reasons why Rockland is a desirable place to live. Another pro of living in Rockland, jobs. There are many different types of jobs or careers in Rockland, such as technology, medical, education, and sales. With large companies such as Intel and Amazon close by, there are no shortage of opportunities. Another pro of living in Rockland, weather. In Rockland, the weather is average year round. The summers are hot, arid, and mostly clear, and the winters are cold, wet, and partly cloudy. Over the course of the year, the temperature typically varies from 39 degrees Fahrenheit to 95 degrees Fahrenheit, and is rarely below 32. So we're not freezing, don't get tons of snow, we really don't get snow at all. But it also doesn't typically go over 103, there might be a few days that it does. The hot season lasts for 3.4 months from June 8th to September 21st, with an average daily temperature of about 87. The hottest month of the year in Rockland is July, which is an average of about 95 degrees and a low of 64. The cool season lasts for about three months, and that's from November 20th to February 22nd, with an average daily high temperature below 62. The coldest month of the year in Rockland is December, with an average low of 40 degrees and a high of 55. Now, one of the reasons I believe Rockland is a great place to live is its proximity to day trips. About 25 minutes to Folsom Lake, one and a half hours to Lake Tahoe, one and a half hours to wine tasting, and one and a half hours to the Bay Area, so lots of opportunity there. Another pro of living in Rockland, golf. Who doesn't love golf? There are 34 golf courses within 20 minutes of Rockland. Many different types of courses and elevations as well. The most popular golf course in Rockland is Whitney Oaks Golf Course. Pro of living in Rockland, diverse food options. Rockland has every type of food imaginable available to its residents, whether fast food options, mom and pop shops, or one of a kind spots. Rockland has it all. For breakfast, you got Barn Burner, Vanita Rays, Mimosa House, Granite Rock Grill. For lunch, you have Wally's Cafe, you have PK Sushi, uh, and then in Mescalitos even. And then for dinner, you have uh, Red's Pizza, Bangkok City Thai Cafe, Chef's Table, tons, tons of options. So if that doesn't work, there are at least 50 different options within 10 minutes of Rockland in the neighboring city of Roseville. Wanna see more restaurants in Rockland? See my reviews right below. Another pro of living in Rockland, home appreciation. Rockland has long been a top destination for families in the Sacramento region. Due to Rockland's high demand, prices have remained stable, home values have increased, 
pretty much yearly. And in the last five years, from 2017 to 2022, the average sales price has gone from 524 to 752,000. Now that's a 43.5% increase in average sales price. From 2022 to 2023, the average sales price has gone from 736 to 752. With all the doom and gloom of the California real estate headlines, Rockland still increased the, their average sales price 2.2% this last year. Now that provides real solid market stability. When considering owning a home long-term, it should play a factor in choosing the right city to purchase. It's really easy to talk about why Rockland is so great, but let's talk about some cons of living in Rockland. All right, con number one, higher prices. The demand to live in the beautiful community of Rockland has driven up housing expenses and they are 78% higher than the national average. The utility prices are also 8% higher. The transportation expenses, such as bus fares and gas prices, are 24% higher. Even grocery prices are 5% higher. Now all these figures are based on national averages, but for local comparison, Sacramento house prices are 11.8% less expensive. Now although these two cities are very different, home buyers that are looking to move to Rockland may also be considering Sacramento. Uh, hint, we also serve Sacramento. Another con of living in Rockland, higher taxes or Melrose. The average tax for the state of California is 1% of the home sales price per year. Although there are established neighborhoods in Rockland, there are many new and upcoming neighborhoods that require fire stations, parks, and other infrastructure to be put in place. This cost is paid by the homeowner in the form of a bond, which can add on average uh, 0 0.15 to 0.25% to, to your monthly expenses uh, on your taxes. Now, most bonds have an expiration date of anywhere from 20 to 40 years. Typically, the newer the community, the higher the Melrose tax will be. Pro tip, when looking at a house, make sure to find out if the subdivision has a homeowners association, also known as HOA. If so, there will be a monthly cost associated with uh, how they manage the neighborhood. These associations are designed to protect the community, establish community rules, as well as upkeep the appearance of the community. Con of living in Rockland, California, the utility costs and solar. Rockland has one of the more expensive utility companies in the area known as PG&E. Due to the higher costs, many homeowners have opted to add solar to their house. Solar can be leased or owned, but it's an extra cost to consider on a larger home. With the surge of electrical vehicles, solar almost has become an essential as a Rockland resident. Pro tip, your real estate consultant may have some advice and maybe a connection with a solar provider that can give you a discount on your solar purchase, so make sure to check with them. Another con of living in Rockland, California is the distance to Sacramento. Rockland is about 22, 23 miles away from Sacramento, which is about a 20 to 25 minute drive without traffic. So if you're commuting into Sacramento, this is just something to consider. Another con of living in Rockland is traffic. There are two freeways that Rockland homeowners deal with on a daily basis. Highway 80 and Highway 65. The intersection where those two freeways meet tends to back up at certain points of the day. Now, we're not talking Los Angeles traffic here. However, it can add another 15 to 30 minutes to your drive. As the city of Lincoln continues to grow, which is the city northwest of Rockland, Highway 65 is bound to see more traffic. Now that being said, Highway 65 just underwent some improvements to widen the areas to alleviate some of those aforementioned problems. All right, another con of living in Rockland, trains. So if trains noise is an issue for you, then you'll wanna avoid some parts of East Rockland, which is 95677. In East Rockland, the, trains, the train tracks actually run along Pacific Street. So some people don't mind the occasional noise a train brings, and some might even consider it white noise, right, in the background. But for those that don't care for that noise, it, it can kind of be a deal breaker. So make sure when you're searching out potential areas before moving, uh, make sure to check how their proximity to the train tracks uh, before placing offers on homes. Are you thinking of moving to Rockland, California, but don't know which neighborhoods would be the best fit for your family? We know how big of a decision this is and you shouldn't have to figure it out on your own. Whether you're just starting a family or you have a large one like ours, my wife, Vanessa, and I would like to use our 15 years of experience helping families get planted and rooted in community to help you find yours. For this reason, our team has created the ultimate guide to moving and living in Rockland, California. This free guide will teach you everything you need to know practically about the cost of living, the pros and cons of living in Rockland, and potential safety concerns. It will also help you discover which neighborhoods would best suit your family's needs, as well as which neighborhoods to avoid. 
We will also share our insider secrets on how to save thousands of dollars on your home purchase. So go ahead and click the link below to download our ultimate guide to moving and living in Rockland, California, and good luck on your home search.